Let's talk about the biggest question now facing Archie Miller as he looks to continue his rebuild of the Indiana basketball program out on the recruiting trail. And the biggest question is not what Romeo Langford will do. We know that Archie and his staff will do everything to bring Romeo Langford in. They will hold a scholarship for him basically until the opening tip of next season. If that's what it takes, Romeo Langford will be a Hoosier if he wants to be a Hoosier. The question is, to me, what do you do with that other scholarship? Do you give that scholarship to a high three-star, borderline four-star guy like a Jake Forrester, who is a good prospect, and you have a vision for how he fits in your program, but he's not an elite-level slam dunk? Do you hold out, be patient with that scholarship, see if maybe you can get a blue-chip guy in this class, like a Darius Garland or a Lugans Dort, someone like that, who's a slam dunk, you would take them anytime they would accept? Or... Are you even more patient and look to tuck one of those scholarships away for next year because the class of 2019 is loaded and you're in a good position with a lot of those guys? James Weissman, Matthew Hurt, Trendon Watford, Keon Brooks, Trace Jackson Davis, just a few of the names that Indiana is in pretty good position with. But when you project forward, if Indiana gives uses both of its scholarships this recruiting cycle, only Juwan Morgan is scheduled to graduate next year. If you don't have transfers... You might only have one scholarship to give. So it's an interesting question facing Archie Miller and his staff. Personally, I would like to see them be patient. Obviously, you're going to hold out for Romeo Langford, but with that other scholarship, I would like to see them be patient and wait for a potential blue chip guy this year, see what Langford does, and maybe then in the spring, you add somebody either with the Langford scholarship or with the other scholarship. If you can get a really good player, but otherwise, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to leave one scholarship open and give yourself some options and some opportunity for that class of 2019 if you think you're in as good a position with some of those top blue chip guys as some of the reports suggest. So I would like to see Archie and the staff be patient with that scholarship. We will see. It sounds like you know if Jake Forrester is coming for an official visit. You don't do that unless you're serious about a guy. So we will see. And ultimately, I trust the decision that the staff makes. I certainly trust their decision more than what I would do here from a thousand miles away in Dallas, Texas. But I just think it's a really interesting question facing the staff. I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. I invite you to provide me with yours. Feel free to call in to our anchor station or send me a tweet at assembly call and let me know your thoughts about how you would like to see Archie and the staff handle the scholarship crunch now that we that, that we project here over the next couple of years. All right, thanks for listening. This quick hit thought on IU Basketball is brought to you by iustore.shop. Use that URL to shop for all of the IU Basketball gear that you could possibly need at the official IU store. And when you use that link and buy something, we actually get a 10% commission. So it's a great way to get gear to get you ready for the season that you need and to help the assembly call as well. We appreciate it. iustore.shop. We'll talk to you soon.